More than 600,000 people go missing in the United States every year, and sadly many will likely remain unsolved. But this year there were a few cases that finally got some resolution, some of them decades later. Here's five missing persons cases that were solved in 2021. 17-year-old Kara Kapetsky disappeared from Belton, Missouri on May 4, 2007. Around 9.20 a.m. Kara walked out of her high school, never to be seen again. That evening her mother filed a missing persons report to the Belton Police Department when she failed to return home from school. Shortly before her disappearance, Caro had ended a nine-month relationship with 18-year-old Carl Yast. The two had been dating on and off since the fall of 2006. On April 28, 2007, Kara told police that her ex-boyfriend Carl Yast allegedly kidnapped her and forced her into his vehicle while she was leaving work. On April 30, 2007, just four days before she went missing, Kara filed for an order of protection against Yast in Cass County. She stated that he had kidnapped, restrained, and choked her in the past and she was afraid the abuse would get worse. On May 6, 2007, Yast told police that he didn't have any contact with Gara on the day of her disappearance. He said he had a missed call from Gara around 11 a.m. that morning, but she didn't answer when he tried to return the call. However, phone records revealed that Kara made a phone call to him at 9.13 a.m., and he called her back at 9.20 a.m., just one minute after she was last seen leaving high school on surveillance video. Yas denied involvement in her disappearance and subsequently refused to answer any questions about the discrepancy in the information he had given. He passed a lie detector test and had an alibi for the morning she went missing. Authorities continued looking into Kara's disappearance, but the next big break didn't come until nearly 10 years later in 2017. On April 3, 2017, human remains were discovered by a mushroom hunter in the area of 233rd Street and Y Highway in Belton, Missouri. During a search of the wooded area a second set of remains were discovered by police the next day. On April 5, 2017, the first set of remains was identified as Jessica Runians by the Kansas City Medical Examiner's Office and Kansas City Crime Lab. 21-year-old Jessica Runians was last seen on September 8, 2016, with Carl Yast. Authorities soon found her burned vehicle in a wooded area and charged Yast with burning it. On August 16, 2017, the second set of remains were identified as Kara Kapetsky at the FBI Crime Laboratory in Quantico, Virginia. After numerous delays the murder trial for Yast finally began on April 5, 2021. On April 15, 2021, Kyle Yast was found guilty of voluntary manslaughter in Kara Kapetsky's death and second-degree murder in Jessica Runian's death. He was sentenced to 45 years in prison after the judge accepted the jury's recommended maximum sentence in his murder trial. His 15-year sentence for Kara Kapetsky's death and life imprisonment for Jessica Runians will be served consecutively. Another missing persons case that was solved in 2021 is that of Kara Vaughn who disappeared more than 25 years ago. 40-year-old Kara Vaughn disappeared from Natchitoches, Louisiana on November 3, 1993. She left her Point Place home between 8 to 9 p.m. in her white 1978 Honda Civic without her diabetes medication and less than $10 in cash. Her family reported her missing when she failed to return home. She reportedly left home upset and had previously stated that she would drive her vehicle in Cane River and never be found. The Natchitoches Parish Sheriff's Office searched the Cane River multiple times, but were unable to find any signs of Kara or her vehicle. In 2007 the East Baton Rouge Parish Sheriff's Office offered assistance with new special sonar equipment to search the river for any clues. Again, the search again provided no clues. In 2021, nearly 28 years after Kara went missing, Two fishermen alerted the police after spotting what they believed was a submerged vehicle in Cane River Lake, south of Natchitoches. 
authorities recovered the vehicle, which had been submerged in 10 to 12 feet of water, and discovered human remains inside. Kara's ID was also found inside the vehicle. On March 24, 2021, the Lausiana State University Forensic Anthropology and Computer Enhancement Services FACES, lab in Baton Rouge confirmed that the remains discovered inside the vehicle belonged to Kara Vaughan. Kara Vaughan was buried in Nachitukis, next to her mother who died in 2012. 33-year-old Sarah Everard went missing from South London, England on March 3, 2021. At approximately 9 p.m. she left her friend's home in Clapham, and started walking back to her home in Brixton. The walk should have taken her just less than an hour, but she never made it home. At 9.30 p.m. she was captured on surveillance video walking alone on A205 Pointers Road, in the direction of Tulse Hill. On the evening of March 9, 2021, it was announced that authorities had made an arrest in Kent in connection with Sarah's disappearance. The suspect was identified as 48-year-old Wayne Cousins, who was arrested on suspicion of murder and a separate allegation of indecent exposure. Extensive searches were carried out in Kent, and on March 10 it was announced that human remains had been found in a woodland area. On March 12, the human remains found in Ashford, Kent were confirmed to be that of Sarah. It was later revealed that Cousins, a Metropolitan Police officer, had falsely arrested Sarah under the pretense of having breached COVID-19 regulations. He took her in his car, drove her to near Dover where he assaulted and strangled her before burning her body and disposing of her remains in a nearby pond. In June 2021, Cousins pleaded guilty to Sarah's kidnap, rape, and murder. He was sentenced to a life imprisonment without the possibility of parole on September 30, 2021. 29-year-old former Notre Dame and NFL player Louis Anthony Nix III was reported missing from Jacksonville, Florida on February 24, 2021. On February 23, 2021 he visited his father's residence in the 4000 block of Leonard Court West in Jacksonville. Around 10 a.m. he left in his 2014 Grey Hyundai Azira, and hasn't been seen or heard from since. Nix's car was found in a pond near his apartment in Jacksonville, and he was subsequently found deceased on February 27, three days after he was reported missing. His death was ruled a drowning by the Jacksonville Medical Examiner's Office. His death came just three months after he survived a shooting while putting air in his tires at a gas station near the Jacksonville airport. He spent 10 days in the hospital, after the bullet ricocheted off his sternum and pierced his lung. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office sought information regarding two suspects in the case, but no reported arrests were made. 33-year-old American actress Naya Rivera was reported missing after she failed to return from a boating trip on July 8, 2021. Naya went to Lake Piru in Ventura County, California with her four-year-old son, and rented a boat at approximately 1 p.m. Three hours later, another boater on the lake discovered a drifting boat with a child on board in the area of the lake known as the Narrows. The child found on the boat was Naya's four-year-old son who told authorities that he and his mother had went swimming, but she failed to get back on the boat when he did. Authorities closed the lake and began search and rescue efforts from the air and with a dive team. On July 13, 2021, Naya Rivera's body was recovered from the lake, and she was pronounced dead by drowning. Her death was ruled accidental with investigators determining Naya had exhausted herself saving her son's life in the water. Authorities believe Naya and her son were likely caught in a rip current while swimming, making it difficult to get back on board the boat. After Naya's death officials banned swimming in Lake Piru, where several others had drowned in the reservoir over the years. There you have it. Five cases that were solved in 2021. Stay tuned for the next video where we will look at part 2 which will have another 5 cases that were also solved in 2021. Thank you as always for listening.
Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Sooner or later I will be doing this with my own voice again. I am not too sure when, but hopefully soon. Until then, take care.